Hello, first graders. Welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Bean. Today, we are going to be reading a story that my cat Phoebe completed her challenge with today. It's called Bob the Dog. Bob the Dog. Mark and Bob the Dog were playing in the park one day. They were running and laughing so hard that they didn't see the... Go. The tiny little yellow bird, Bob began to sob. Oh, I've eaten him, he cried. I've eaten the tiny, innocent, little birdie wordy. Mark tried to comfort him, but Bob didn't eat birds. He sobbed and wailed and howled. Then Bob's tummy made a strange noise. Tweet! He's alive, Bob, cried Mark. And then a little voice spoke. My name is Jeremy, Jeremy the canary, and I'm hiding in here and he wouldn't say another word. Oh dear, said Mark, I think we better get some help. Bob and Mark gathered all their friends, Roger the rabbit, Kathy the cat, and of course, Oscar the owl. First, Kathy the cat tried blowing pepper up Bob's nose to make Jeremy come out with a sneeze. Ha, 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 choo! But that didn't work. It just made Bob fall over. Next, Roger the rabbit tried bouncing on Bob's belly to make Jeremy come out with a burp. Boing, boing, boing. But that didn't work either. It just made Bob feel sick. Then Oscar the Owl tried shaking Bob to make Jeremy fall out. Whoa, uh, but that didn't work either. It just made Bob feel dizzy. Please, yelled Mark, somebody help my dog. Suddenly, they heard a deafening roar. Who do you think it is? Jeremy, bellowed the big canary. Mommy, said Jeremy. You'd better believe it's mommy, she boomed. Bob felt a flutter in his tummy. And then Jeremy the canary appeared. I'm sorry, he said in a small voice. I just didn't want to clean my room. Well said mommy. If you didn't want to clean your room, you can always clean Bob's room. And Jeremy never complained about cleaning his own room ever again. That must be inside Bob's doghouse. Look at that. How messy it is. And there they are, running and playing again. This time, Bob has his mouth shut. <laughs> the end. I hope you loved that book as much as I did. Please check in a couple times a week for a new story with Mrs. Bean. Have a good day, friends.